Founded in 2012, AR-500 Armor, now known as Armored Republic, has made a significant impact in the tactical gear industry, with a stated focus on quality and value. They introduced the Testudo Gen 1 plate carrier seven years ago, which evolved from earlier offerings like the Warrior, Banshee, and Operator 2. The Testudo was marketed for its affordability, appealing to first-time buyers by offering competitively priced armor packages that included AR-500 steel and ceramic plates. Now in its third generation, the Testudo Gen 3 continues to be a tempting choice for those entering the world of tactical gear. While Armored Republic's pricing has previously played a significant role in expanding plate carrier ownership among civilians, the Testudo Gen 3, priced at $289, now faces stiff competition from premium brands. In this episode of Core Performance Insights, we'll explore how the Testudo Gen 3 stacks up against the competition. Let's get started. For newcomers to this series, our videos aren't standard reviews. We develop them to answer frequently asked customer questions regarding integrating our Ice Age ecosystem's thermoregulation and hydration tools with various plate carriers available today. Our approach is unique among YouTube channels in that it is empirical, offering objective, measurable insights backed by instruments and documentation whenever possible. Facts don't change most people's opinions because most people don't base their opinions on facts. Instead, they shape the facts to fit their opinions. We strive to change that. With life-preserving equipment, there is no room for letting bias and emotion stand in the way of performance. In our reviews, you will find no opinions or guesswork, just the empirical facts to help you make informed decisions and unlock your full potential. That's the essence of building a superhuman future. Let's cover relationship disclosures. We have no relationship with Armored Republic. We purchased our Testudo at full price from their website. This technical overview comes straight from popular viewer requests, and our focus is on giving you data-driven, empirical insights. There are no subjective opinions here, just neutral, unbiased information to help you make the best purchase decision and set yourself up for success. Now let's talk about Ice Age ecosystem integration. Like most plate carriers on the market, the AR Testudo makes a great host for our Ice Age ecosystem's thermal regulation and hydration tools. The Testudo Gen 3 integrates our thermal regulation tools, like the IMS Versa, for mounting ice plate, our flagship solution for conductive cooling, heating, and hydration capability. For convective cooling, ice fence pads increase airflow between your body and your gear. You can enhance shoulder comfort in load distribution with ice fence classic or aero shoulder pads. At the same time, ice fence plate carrier ventilation pontoons improve airflow by attaching to the body-facing side of your plate bags through our catamaran combo. Few things impact human performance more than weight. Ounces add up to pounds, and pounds equal pain. We've all heard this, and we all know it. With that in mind, let's see what the Testudo Gen 3's dry weight comes out to. With just the front and rear plate bags and cummerbund, the Testudo weighs 2.9 pounds, or 46.4 ounces. Want to see how this compares to other carriers we've tested? Click the link in the show notes below to check out our best plate carriers of 2024 article and video. Does wet weight matter more than dry weight? It depends on your mission. Whether you're dealing with salt water or sweat, the ability of a plate carrier to shed water weight quickly can dramatically impact your operator performance. Let's dunk the Testudo Gen 3 and see how it does. As with all our tests in the technical plate carrier overview series, we keep it simple. Submerge the carrier in water for 60 minutes, hang dry for 60 seconds, and record the weight. We run all tests in our new HQ2 facility in Knoxville, Tennessee to eliminate environmental variables like sunlight or wind. After submerging, the Testudo weighs 4.55 pounds, or 72.8 ounces. For complete comparison data, check out our Best Plate Carriers of 2024 article, link in the show notes below. Materials. The Testudo Gen 3 uses 500D nylon, spacer mesh, and hook and loop in its construction. What is thermal transmittance and why does it matter for plate carriers? Thermal transmittance refers to the rate at which heat moves through a material. In the context of plate carriers, it specifically pertains to the body-facing side of the plate carrier plate bag. When a material, such as a wall or plate bag, is well insulated, it has low thermal transmittance, making it effective at protecting against external temperature changes, ideal for homes, vehicles, or cold weather gear. Conversely, poorly insulated materials have a high thermal transmittance, which benefits active or athletic apparel like running gear, PT outfits, combat uniforms, or plate carriers. High thermal transmittance allows the body to release excess heat generated during intense physical activity. Since tactical gear inherently insulates, choosing equipment with the highest possible thermal transmittance is crucial, particularly plate carriers and body armor. 
Essentially, you need gear with minimal insulation to enable your body's natural cooling processes to function optimally, helping you manage body temperature independently of your gear. Optimized thermal regulation is critical to prevent heat-related issues, ensuring you remain effective and increasing your chances of survival in the field. Some plate carriers, such as our Iceplate Exo Gen 3, augment and enhance your body's natural thermoregulation mechanisms, boosting your physiological performance. For carriers lacking this feature, you can integrate items from our IceAge ecosystem, like the IMS Pro, IMS Versa, Ice Vents, and Catamaran, to improve their thermal efficiency. For a detailed understanding of heat transfer methods and their relevance to your gear, check out the infographics in our Insights blog article, The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in the show notes below. For all of the super nerds out there who want to know the experimental design for our thermal transmittance testing, here it is. Take a FLIR camera surface reading of the body facing side of the plate bags at room temperature. Place a single ice plate curve fresh out of the freezer into the same plate bag. Next, close the plate bag and place a hard armor plate on top for 30 seconds to simulate the effect of wearing the carrier. Use short exposure time to test efficiency, not capacity. Finally, remove the hard armor plate from the surface of the subject plate bag and take a new FLIR surface temperature reading. The Armored Republic Testudo recorded a baseline surface temperature of 81 degrees Fahrenheit and an ice plate inside temperature of 79 degrees Fahrenheit, resulting in a thermal shift of just 2 degrees Fahrenheit. What do these numbers mean? These tables show how the Armored Republic Testudo Gen 3 compares to the other plate carriers tested. We provided two data tables for an unbiased analytical context, the mean on the left and the median on the right. As a quick refresher, the mean, often called the average, is the sum of all values divided by the number of values. The median is the middle value of a data set when ordered from smallest to largest. If there is an even number of observations, it is the average of the two middle values. When the data is symmetrically distributed, and you want to account for all values, including extreme ones, you should use the mean. The median is the preferred analytical tool when the data is skewed or contains outliers that might distort the mean. The smaller the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. Plate carriers with low thermal transmittance readings will trap and retain more heat, making you hotter. The larger the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the higher the thermal transmittance of that plate carrier. Plate bags with these larger readings are better at removing heat to let your body's thermoregulation mechanisms work as naturally as possible. Now let's explore the AR Testudo Gen 3's unique features. The Testudo Gen 3's most unique feature is a cummerbund that accommodates the Armored Republic 6x6 side plates. The product description does not explicitly mention compatibility with non-Armored Republic 6x6 side plates. Now let's cover the AR Testudo Gen 3's attachment mechanisms. The Testudo Gen 3 utilizes Molly, hook and loop, and the option to mount swift clips or G-hook compatible placards for attachment mechanisms. From colorways to sizing adjustability, let's talk about the AR Testudo Gen 3's variety. The Testudo Gen 3 is available in Multicam Black, Multicam, Woodland, Olive Drab, Black, and Coyote. Customers can order the Testudo Gen 3 in two different sizes, medium or large. The Testudo Gen 3 features shoulder straps with 13 inches of adjustability and a cover run that adjusts up to 7 inches per side using the included shock cord system. The shock cord system is replaceable should greater adjustability be desired. Coming in two sizes, medium and large, the Testudo Gen 3 will accommodate the following shapes and sizes of armor plates. The medium-sized Testudo Gen 3 will fit medium sappy, e-sappy, and swimmer plates measuring 10 inches by 12 inches. The large-sized Testudo Gen 3 will fit large sappy, e-sappy, and swimmer plates from 10 inches by 12 inches to 11 inches by 14 inches. As previously covered, the Testudo's cover run will fit Armored Republic side plates 6 by 6 inches. Country of origin is a critical consideration when choosing a plate carrier. Country of origin is a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, craftsmanship, and quality. So, where does the AR Testudo Gen 3 come from? The Armored Republic Testudo Gen 3 is manufactured in Vietnam. Price is the least important consideration when choosing a plate carrier. This is life-preserving gear, after all. Most of us have learned the hard way that cutting corners on tools comes with the cost. So here's our advice. Do your research and buy once, cry once. Invest in quality now to avoid regrets later. And since you're here watching this Insights video, you're already on the right track. The Armored Republic Testudo Gen 3 is available for $289 in all medium colorways. If you select the large size, the price will increase by $20 to $309. That concludes our technical overview of the Armored Republic Testudo Gen 3. We hope you found it both informative and enjoyable. Do you own an AR Testudo Gen 3? Share your stories and insights in the comments below and tell us your thoughts on it. If you want to see the latest in all aspect thermal regulation, follow us on Instagram at Core Performance and subscribe to our Launchpad email list to join us in building a superhuman future. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay frosty.